Well, it is time for Weather Wednesday, where we take some time to learn about the weather and some science. And here with us now is meteorologist Catalina Bell. All right, Kat, what are we making this week? So we are going to make our very own cloud spotter. It's going to be a very fun experience or a very fun craft that you can use, you know, on a picnic or if you're in the car on a road trip. And here is the tools that you're going to need to make it. So you're going to need a piece of cardboard. If your mom gets Amazon packages, you might be able to find a piece of cardboard. Yeah, I know perfect. my mom gets okay. a lot of Amazon packages. Some cotton balls to make your clouds. You're going to need a Sharpie so you can write what type of cloud and then an X-Acto knife to cut out a top for the the sparter part. And okay. then you're also going to need some type of glue. I used hot glue. You don't have to use hot glue. You can use, you know, Elmer's glue, the wet glue, or a glue stick, but anything to make those cotton balls stick to the cardboard. Okay. So you just assemble it and it's pretty self explanatory. Um, you just put the cotton balls on the cardboard, just as however, whatever type of clouds you want to put. There is no specific type of cloud that you have to put. So I put cumulus, cirrus, stratus, and then chemical trails. Um, so we're going to be identifying some clouds today. So we're going to start off with our first cloud. I had you guys okay. send me some clouds on Facebook, and then I had some, my parents actually sent me a couple of clouds. So Adam sent this to us, and he said he took this in Maryland. So this is going to be a double layer type of cloud. So the top layer is going to be cirrus clouds, which are high clouds, and then the bottom is going to be cumulus clouds, which are low level clouds. So the next slide is going to be from you, Tori. You actually sent this. I did, I did. So I this sent one, it back on my way home yes. to Abilene. This one was a little bit tricky. It's, it's hard sometimes to identify clouds through pictures, but it was a very beautiful picture. So the top layer, I'm going to assume that they're also cumulus clouds or nimbostratus clouds um, because the sun can't make its way through the cloud itself. And then the bottom layer is going to be also cumulus clouds. And then the next one, Christopher Juarez sent this one, and this one, my favorite type of cloud, a cumulonimbus cloud. So this is going to be a storm cloud. So when you see storms starting to roll into the area, you're gonna see these big, giant, towering clouds start to move in. Now the next cloud is go going to be from Kaylee Yates, and she sent me a cumulonimbus cloud. It's really hard to see, but you can kind of see it peeking out behind some of the fronter clouds, but the clouds under it are going to be stratus fractus clouds, which are low-lying clouds, and they're going to be kind of ragged or wispy, but they're usually found beneath thunderstorms, and these are called scud. Now the last, the second to last cloud is from my dad when he went to Mount Rainier and he climbed the Mount Rainier and he sent me a lenticular cloud. So this is going to be a stationary cloud that lies in the top of the troposphere and they're parallel alignment to the wind and they're typically near mountains. So these are going to be like little hats for the mountains, but a really, really cool photo. And then the last cloud is going to be from my mom. It's going to be an alto cumulus cloud, and these are going to be mid-level clouds. So alto cumulus, these are also kind of my favorite too because they're kind of squished, and they're really easy to identify in my opinion, but really, really cool clouds. There's a lot of clouds. There's 10 basic types of clouds, but there's going to be a lot more special types of clouds. So really, really cool. And I think this is a really fun experiment if you're out and about and you just, you know, you want to know more about clouds. We do. I did write a web article on all the types of clouds and you can find that at bigcountryhomepage.com. But this is a really, really fun experiment. I really enjoyed making it too. Well, it looks really fun. You can take it in the car and you can, you know, hold it up and see kind of what cloud exactly. matches. Mm -hmm. And you can, basically what you do is you just put it up to the cloud and you hold it. Okay. And then you can identify it that way. All right. Well, we want to see your weather experiments as well. And you can send your finished products or any ideas or even your cloud pictures for f and future experiment ideas to kbell at ktab.tv or news at ktab.tv. Catalina, thank you so mm -hmm. much. Excited for next week. Me too.